Ach, hello there. Give the demonstration of my new invention. Just cut an eighth of an inch back so that when you bring the lights in, the channels can overlap it. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to put a little dab of sealant here to try to bed that edge of the glass. But I don't know how messy it'll be on the inside. You guys will have to kind of look at that and decide if it's worth doing or if it's just going to create more trouble than it's worth. So, you can see the difference if you get the frame not square. You're going to notice it when you set the glass because even in the mock-up, it's not really square. And the glass didn't fit so hot. So you have to be really careful when you do the frame or you're going to stress the sealant joints in the glass. And that won't be a problem right away, but long term it could be. And that's one we want to try to avoid. So be careful when you set the frame. And the notches and the mark. And we can do it for every bay, every other bay, every third, whatever it turns out to work. But you set the level in the notch. Hopefully the swivel clip isn't right there. Um, I think it's going to be. And then you want to hit the mark over here. And even if the level rotates, it's still the bubble will work. And as long as you're centered, you should be in pretty good shape for squaring the frame if you're level at every crossbar. Just <clears throat> the other piece of glass. And this mock-up will be in Lindbeck's office, I imagine. So you'll be able to see it if you want to by just walking in. They ought to let you take it so you can take it apart and play with it if you'd like. But you guys have the real parts. You can see here, it's not square, it's the whole screwdriver off. And I can kind of muscle it down with the clip, but it's still a gap. And it's tough because the slots here and the way the splice is universal, it, it does odd things. You guys might want to have a mallet or something to kind of <laughs> do some adjusting. The glass stops are set a quarter inch below and you want to make sure that you put bond breaker tape on the top because we're just going to leave it be there. And the setting block should sit with it. <clears throat> and when you do the backer rod, hopefully it'll work that you can just pinch it past the glass stop and let it pop back up and you should have a good quarter inch all the way across without monkeying around too bad so when you caulk it you get a good bead of caulk between the two pieces of glass there's an awful lot of big three-quarter inch caulk joints take your time and do them good or it's going to be a nice hair piece I don't have a sample when I'm making this movie but it hooks in here and then snaps I expect you're going to have to bend it with your fingers to get it to snap past this clip. You'll be able to do that before the glass. I don't think it would be much problem because the chair piece that kind of does the little hook and snap, if you look on page 9 and 10, is going to be flexible. The idea is it hooks here and it snaps here. And then when you bring your interior flashing in, you put zip screws in to hold it down.